Developing right now, two local law enforcement officers are now facing criminal charges today in separate, unrelated incidents. Now, one case involves a San Antonio police officer, the other, a Bear County Sheriff's deputy. And that is the exclusive video of the deputy, Susana Cervantes, being arrested here last night. She is now in jail facing three different charges. News 4 WOAI's Melissa Vega has been investigating what she is charged with now from DWI to resisting arrest and criminal mischief. This is Bear County Sheriff Deputy Susana Cervantes being arrested by SAPD officers around 9.30 last night on Braun Road near 1604 on the northwest side. Police investigators say a traffic officer was parked in a patrol car and she saw Cervantes drive into a parking lot and hit two concrete poles that were barriers to a propane tank. She observed the vehicle back up from the poles and then strike the poles again. Investigators say when the police officer went up to Deputy Cervantes' car, the deputy wasn't cooperating. Instead, police say Cervantes was reaching into the center console of her car for something. Fearing for her safety, our officer uh, deployed her taser. Police say after being tased, Deputy Cervantes ripped the taser probes out of her body and continued her tirade. So investigators say they had no choice but to taser Cervantes a second time. Cervantes was eventually on the ground in handcuffs. Newly elected Sheriff Susan Pomelo talked to the media this afternoon about Officer Cervantes' arrest. The sheriff says while SAPD is working on Cervantes' criminal investigation, the sheriff's office is doing an internal one. That was Melissa Vega reporting today. And as we mentioned, that deputy was already on administrative leave for a September arrest, and that was quite an arrest as well. She was arrested first for criminal mischief, and police say that's when she kicked out both windows of a police car. We're getting more information on that arrest, and we'll give you the details coming up later on News 4. And now to the SAPD officer who was arrested, Officer Curtis Lundy was arrested for bribery last night by the police chief himself. Police say there is surveillance tape of Lundy showing him accepting money in exchange for not filing drug charges against a man. News 4 WOAI's Josana Quintanilla is live from police headquarters downtown with how he was caught. Less than 48 hours after the initial allegation was made, Officer Lundy was arrested. Officer Curtis Lundy finds himself on the other side of the law and in cuffs, federally charged with theft of honest services by wire fraud. According to the federal affidavit, on December 15th, Officer Lundy responded to an assault call. Officer Lundy told a man at the scene who was found with marijuana that he could help him out and would hold off on filing the charge in exchange for a $400 payment. I do not and will not ever tolerate a crime committed by any public official, especially one of my own officers. Chief McManus says the man called police two days ago. Then the FBI joined in on the investigation. Through recorded conversations, agents say they heard Lundy raise the payment to $500. Ultimately, the affidavit states surveillance showed Lundy pull up in an SAPD patrol vehicle and collect an envelope which contained the $500. Lundy was arrested last night after his shift at the North Substation. There are few things in public service that are worse than a bad cop. And what happened last night angers me and it disgusts me. Officer Lundy was released on a personal recognizance bond. He's on administrative leave with pay. Of course, if he's indicted, all that can change. We're live from police headquarters, Josanna Quintanilla, News 4 WOAI.